Good afternoon everybody, it's Dee again. I got a request on how to do the uh, floss on the floss cards here. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is my kit from China that I ordered. Some of the horses here. I'll show you its massiveness here. It is as big as a table. It's like huge. There we go. And I did this little bit here. A baby. Just uh, to show, to see how the floss was and how the fabric was. A baby. All gone. Okay. Go sit. Go watch Tinkerbell. Go watch Tinkerbell. Sorry. <laughs> the kids are awake, so that's just the way life goes. But it comes on these floss cards. So, I already took some off of these ones that I was working on. But let's just go with this one here. See, it all comes cut and it looks like a mess, really, but I don't know. What do you do? So it comes like this. So you can either keep it like this, which I am, because I'm not going to bother to... They were all numbered, right? So that's the number that is it here, and then it's numbered on the fabric. So I'm just going to keep it numbered like this on here with the numbers. So what you do is you take, I'll just take 19 here for for example. Let's see, it's like that. It's wrapped like that. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm not sure what you're seeing. So then you take your needle. And you pull out a whole, a whole piece like this, and you just pull, 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 pull. So then you have a piece, right? So this is eleven count, eleven count. So you're either going to do three over, three strands or four strands, and I'm using four strands. So then you just take your two strands and you pull it out. See, it's not DMC, so it's... It's a bit different. It's not in it. Anyway, you pull your two floss out. And then when you're done, you have your four strands left, because you're stitching with the two strands. And then you just take it and you just loop it back on. Make sure you put it back in the right in the right folder in the right color spot because you don't want to mix it up. So then you just attach it here. So then you have your used thread here, and then you have your huge bunch here. And then when you go to use the next color, then you just grab it. You need to use your needle and you just pull it out one one strand. And it'll just come right out really easily. I also do that with, uh, just a second here, with my silks because the most silks, which I showed you earlier, come in a round circle. And then you twist them and you put them back. But Fiberlicious silks and thread picker silks, they come in like 50 strands, straight strands. So then when you unravel it... Okay, sorry about that. My camera cut out. But what I was saying was I do that with my silk too. And, uh... So this is a fiberlicious one, and I just put it, I make this little card, and I just cut a hole and put it in like that, and then when I need Ow. to take a silk, then I just carefully, because it's silk, Ow. and you just grab one piece and pull. Mommy. not going to do it, because I already did one. Mom, what's that? What's that on the back? Silk. Is it named that pillar? It's called Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon. Mm -hmm. So then, and then I just store it in the bag that it comes in. See, it comes in a bag. See, this is the piece I pulled that I did before, but it got cut off. So I just put it in here like this. Doesn't get, doesn't get knotted. It's 
fine. Put that in there for tonight. Yeah. So that's what I do for my postcards. Now let me just take this out again. So I just keep it in a box. This is just an orange box. I just set the floss in here like this, and then I just keep it in there like that, and it doesn't get tangled or nothing. It just stays nice and clean and safe in here. Hey, Mom. Now, if you wanted to, you could take it off and put it in plastic baggies, but that would be more work because it's just easier to pull each piece off like this, just like this. But that's how I do it. I hope that helps any of you guys who are confused about how these floss cards work. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go now because I'm getting harassed, and my boss is getting harassed, so we're going to go now. Say bye. Bye. They can't see you. They can only hear you. I hope you have a good day, and we will see you again next time.